What is this? All right, what is this? Hold on, hold on. An animated roller coaster in Excel. You know, I don't know. If, this was 13 years ago, back when Excel was terrible. I mean, this person was probably dimming some serious variables. You know what I'm talking about? There's some dim was had. For those that don't get that joke, you're either too old or too young, and I'm not sure which one it is, but it's good. It's a good joke. It's a good joke. A roller coaster in Excel 2003 in three-dimensional. I forgot to turn off alerts. I forgot to turn off alerts, but guess what? I'm recording this video, and I have alerts coming on on a separate channel, so guess what? So guess what? Guess what? Guess what, jackass? They're going to be taken out. Or they won't be. Uh, to start a dead ride after download, click the little uh, sun icon. Do we? Can we just have a... Do we... Did, did someone link this and not actually show me? Is there no video? Oh, this is video. No, this is not a video. Are you serious me? Are you serious? Is this a picture of a video? Did I just get had by a picture of a video? Okay, I wanted to see this. I wanted to see your roller coaster. Uh, a, a 3D animated roller coaster model in Excel. All right, let's do this. Average Asmin Gold Enjoyer, yes. What is that, Miss Monique? What is that, Asmin? A, a 3D a model, or a 3D roller uh, roller coaster in Excel. There it is. There it is. Let's go. All right, let's see this thing. <laughs> Dude, did, hey, did you guys ever play the Virtual Boy? Anyone here play Nintendo's most bizarre creation, the Virtual Boy? Anybody? Oh, God, yes. <laughs> oh, God, yes. This is Virtual Boy with color, not just red. Virtual Boy was nothing but red. Index, look at the index go. How the hell did they do this? Look, look, would you look at this? This is absolutely mind boggling that someone created this. This also reminds me of a game called Extreme G. I don't know if anybody ever played Extreme G uh, in for the Nintendo 64. I can't believe this was made in Excel. This is great. You know, I think what this goes to show, you know, there's always this argument. You hear it all the time, right? Which goes like, uh, someone's going to say that there's a perfect language for problems. And, you know, I'm, I, you know you're going to hear me say it too, okay? But what I take whenever I see this video is that at the end of the day, you can write anything in effectively any language. Now, sure, is Excel the right language to make a 3D roller coaster? No. But can someone do it? Yes. Is JavaScript a language designed for interacting with the DOM? Yes. Should we make all of our infrastructure scaling and everything and even ML and all sorts of stuff based on JavaScript? No. But did we successfully? Yes. So just remember, every time you boot up old node index.js, know for a fact you are making a roller coaster in Excel. Modern day. You can do it. I believe in you. You got this. You got this. You got this. You got this, people. I think that you're talented enough to make a roller coaster in Excel. Someone already did. It's true. What is better than Node.js, my friend, Nero? <laughs> First off, Nice name, Nero. Second off, what is better than Node.js? What what I would like you to do, you know, I said this yesterday, and I got a lot of I got some backlash yesterday. Okay, I got a lot of backlash. Also got some positives on it, which is here. Let's let's just bring let's just bring up the actual tweet. I still stand I stand by my tweet. I don't I, I haven't been tweeting nearly as much. Uh, right here, high reliability of a JavaScript service is extremely hard to achieve, if not impossible, due to how errors are treated. I feel like this is a very benign statement. Nothing in here is a wild statement. But what I realize is that so many people ask that same question. Well, what else would you use? Wow, you must hate Node.js. You must... <laughs> Actually, I was talking about Bun, okay? You guys missed it. I was talking about Bun. If you've never used another service, if you've never used another language, if you've never done anything other than JavaScript, just give something else a try. Give Go a try. Just try it out. And what I want you to do is that every single time you have an error... Here, let's, let's go like this. Does it throw? I'm exploring this cool LSP called Does It Throw, okay? I'm exploring it. It doesn't matter. Just sh 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 shut up. Okay, so uh, here, uh, test go. I don't think I'm going to get highlighting or whatever. Who cares? I'll just go like this. Package, uh, main, we'll just do that. Funk, you know, main, blah, blah, blah. Every time you do any function that has, uh, that you call, right? I, I forget I, I forget what it is. What, what, what do we want, right? Right, let's see, is there just like a file? Is it under OS? I feel like it's under something like OS. Uh, right file, there we go. Test this. What comes out of here? It comes out 
with an error. So everywhere in Go code, you have something that looks like this, right? That's like, hey, if error equals nil, do this. And everyone's like, ah, oh, man, I hate this. This is the absolute worst. Why would you ever want to write this kind of code? This is just terrible. So then I go like this. Okay, okay, hey, I hear you, you're right. You're right, const fs equals require fs. And then I go like this, uh, fs.read file sync, right? And we do that. This is uh, read file sync, there's no callback. Auto, auto pilot, actually let's go like this, write, uh, write file sync. Look at this, you don't even have to do that in JavaScript. How much better is JavaScript? Well, my friends. Well, my friendy friends. This one just aired. Nobody told you about the error. Nobody warned you it was coming. Nobody was letting you know, hey, did you know that you're about to do something that might not work? So when I say the high reliability of a, of a JavaScript service is extremely hard to achieve, what I mean is that every single statement that has the word async or sync, right? If you're using any sync APIs, you have to remember that you don't do if error equals nil. Instead, you have to do try, catch, this, and then handle some sort of alternative path. Okay, you know what I'd much rather do? I would much rather if... Uh, uh, this is a thousand times better than whatever the hell this thing is, okay? That sucks. That is not something I want to do. I don't want to do that. I want to do this a hundred times over. This is annoying. So anyone that says if error equals nil, you're crazy. Now, secondly, it, it, the thing is, is what I want you to catch by doing say something like go is not, I don't want the JavaScript sucks argument. That's not the point. The point is what it should do to you is remind you about every piece of code you are writing is heavily throwable. And the reason why reliability of a JavaScript service is so difficult is because so many things throw and you don't realize it. So by doing Go, you're gonna remember these things and you're gonna be like, oh, I know what to do. Oh, I know what's gonna happen here. Oh, hey, I need to handle this error that's not there. Rust will do the exact same thing. Rust will literally do the, uh, Rust will do the exact same thing to you. Uh, you, just, you. You just don't know that it throws, yeah. You just don't know what throws. And that's what's so difficult about JavaScript. So when I say these things, it's not that I'm saying them to be like mean to somebody. I'm saying them because I keep, I'm emotionally bruised right now. I'm working on a service that needs to be improved. And one of the big problems is errors, is handling error paths and error conditions that aren't there. And a huge problem is actually bubbling up the error so that like when something fails, you know why it fails. Like that's gonna be the next six months of my life is to try to harden a service and make something run faster, better, and with less errors slash better reported errors. So when something's red, we know why. Not just that it's red and it timed out. Uh, I'd like to interject for a moment what you're actually referring to. Um, shh, shh. Anything from Soy Chaotic, I will click. Oh my goodness, okay, I can't click it. it was, it's actually too elusive to click. It's too elusive to click. I don't play 3D shooters anymore. Can somebody please fucking explain to me what dumbass developer defined the phrase synchronous operation to mean one after another when the word synchronous literally means happening at the same time? There was no greater tweet, by the way, than this in just watching the amount of program splaining going on. Well, you just don't understand async and why it's so, uh, it's, uh, you know, you see the problem is, is you're, you're, you're mixing, uh, you know, you know, this is, you know here's, the, it's, uh, so here's the actual problem. It's just, I just want you to know. I loved it. I, I love it. I love it. Love that. This is the greatest tweet ever because it triggers every person that has to interject for a moment. I would just like to interject what you're referring to as synchronous is actually. Dude, it's so good. It is so good. Soy Chaotic, greatest tweeter of all time. Greatest tweeter, all time. The name. I don't even know if this is a video. Is this a video? Is this actually a video I should make? I don't even know. We're going to post it. We're posting it. We're posting it. Again.